Christmas. And there we go, finally getting a mortar 40 minutes into the game. Despite the fact that I've been having a mortar for quite a bit longer, gaining veterancy free, and of course using this area to my defensive advantage, blasting away at all he has. And of course generally being a dark and nuisance, instead he of course he opted for the direct assaults. Which of course while effective at the same time also has a lot of attrition in the process, and that is the one thing you don't want to end up in the Japan's elite commander. A fight of attrition as you simply cannot win it. You want to deliver swift, powerful blows, not a long, caught-out fight. You simply will not win it. Rifleman holding the line. And mortar rounds continuing to land in amongst, clearing out another faulty Jäger team. There we go, finally the mortar arriving. And let us return to me. Going for a tank depot, apparently feeling that perhaps now some sort of armor, perhaps at least sneak about would be nice. Of course, out here in the west, where of course the flag 36 cannot hit. But more to half take, inching forwards ever closer. And finally dropping down some munitions on my positions. While the Pantagoneers, of course, are continually exposed to mortar fire themselves. And of course, the mortar half track is swiftly forced to retreat. Of course, we are seeing some incendiary rounds landing here. Not very good for my infantry, though. Mortar half track though will have to get out of there for the time being. Same will my veterans for the riflemen since they don't like fire so much. Tank depot is ready though. Fortune Jaegers desperately trying to get close. Strafing run moving in, but landing a bit short, I fear. Riflemen though take care on that, and of course the mortar nearby will send you to be holding grin. In fact, a grenade goes off. Killing the Falchimiega team most swiftly. Now we are finally seeing a bit of counter mortar fire on my own mortar. Of course, the mortar at Veterans 2, I do believe, gains some bonuses against other damage. Of that, of course, is nice and it just moves slightly to the right. Beable bit not looking happy either. An anti tank gun setting up in a nice position right at this mortar half track but for some reason the crew does seem a bit drunk heading instead the building right next to it but there you go next shot actually connects with the mortar half track and final point is captured Enemy mortar half track is blown apart mortar rounds continue and there we go false one point left and there you go, game over, the 1st Infantry Division continues on the march in Operation Cobra. So what can we learn from this? Well of course, going for some sort of armor rush can certainly be effective as we saw here. Going for both straight, both for straight for both fuel points of course, and I mean them of course, I was a bit fuel foolish in this case. In trying to hold this and perhaps not focusing too much here, so of course in the early part, this area can be much harder to defend for the southern point if the other one is very good at harassment and sneaking about. I should have rather have focused on one point and then done my best to hold it. And of course we saw the tanks moving in but I was able to recollect and of course turn this into a from disaster into a small victory by getting those airborne forcing the panzer force out. In particular with the anti-tank guns which rather forced his panzer force into a much defensive position instead of actually trying to use them defensively in fact he went quite defensively as soon as I got any anti-tank power and apparently getting rather frightened instead of realizing the fact that he had two tanks I had one anti-tank and even an airborne those two panzer force would have the definite advantage quite interesting there of course mine usage was good not much in sandbags or barbed wire but still there it did alright but of course I could have used perhaps a bit more but at the same time with all those panzer force around I didn't quite get around to it it would certainly also have been helpful for my opponent if he'd gotten that mortar half track a lot earlier so he could actually have bombarded my position still with that mortar which in fact caused him quite a lot of harm with 25 kills really killing those Fortune Jaegers and Panzer Grenadiers. So there you go I hope you enjoyed this match if you did why not subscribe or tell your friends and if you didn't well why not send a replay of your own and this is Imperial Dean saying if you're the Panzer Elite do not get into a fight of attrition you will lose. Cheers.